Hey guys, what's up? So, in my previous video I showed you this uh, eBay haul that I got, and uh, this is actually one of the cars that I want to get going. And I believe this is a, well, I mean, it's a Mugen, but I believe it's an MBX-5, but it's been partially converted to a druggy. Um, yeah, it threw me off at first, you know, I couldn't figure out the hell it was. So, let me show you what this thing is. So, um, it, it, it it looks like it's buggy length, you know, the arms, you know, are buggy length. Like, it came with big tires on it. Uh, it had, like, the really big round tires. Um, but it has, it has a truggy mount. So, that's why at first I didn't know if this was a truggy or a buggy. I was like, what the hell, you know? I mean, it wasn't, the eight, these arms weren't wide. So, um, these are almost the same size as my, the other buggy I have, the Offna buggy that came with it. So, um, but yeah, take a look at this thing. It's pretty tricked out. Has the uh, BCE Racing chassis. Um, oh my, I hate pull start, but I'll have to deal with that. So I, my goal today was just to fix all the stuff um, and get this thing running. So I actually already unseat the engine. I, I just let it soak. This, all the engines were seized in, in the lot. So, but yeah, look at this thing. It has like the King Heads stuff on it. Um, this is obviously the best car out of the bunch too because it's a Mugen. It has like the racing clutch. That's the same clutch that is on that Pico right there. But it has a JR racing uh, servo. Um, so I gotta fix all the issues with this before I get it going. And uh, one of the reasons why I didn't go get it going faster is that I'm trying to recover these hump packs, the battery packs for the for the receiver, the power, the servo power. All right, so yeah, it's pretty pretty tricked out little car, you know, pretty nice. But one of the things I gotta figure out is, is the servo setup here. So I think it has a bad servo. Um, the Offna actually has the same servo, I think, in the front here. So I might take the, and that that servo seems good. So I think I might take that servo off and replace it with this one. But I'm gonna take this apart and look at it and see if I can figure it out. But it feels like there's something wrong with one of the gears. They probably landed hard on it or something. But uh, yeah, it's an Ofna 28 motor. Oh yeah, this carb was also seized too. You can, I'm gonna have to get my stuff there. Break up the gum. And uh, I'm gonna take the tank off and ultrasonic clean the tank. Look at the stuff that's in there. Still nitro fuel from like probably 15 years, 10 years, who knows. Yeah, because I figured this, this car is from around 2005 to 2008. Um, this is actually the first vehicle that they did a truggy conversion on. So they had the MBX-5, right? Then they came out with a conversion kit that you could convert this thing into, into a truggy. That's why it was so confusing because they didn't really have a truggy for that, that version. Uh, all you could do was get the conversion kit. But that, then when they came out with the MBX-6, that's actually when they came out with the you know factory truggy. So, all right, seems like a fun project and uh, we'll get it going. So, like I said, I'm recovering the hump packs, the battery packs. I got the receiver working, um, but I might want to take this carb off and ultrasonic clean it, but enough rambling, I gotta get going here. All right, this guy was serious. Look at the quality of that fuel filter. I mean, that's definitely not a cheapo one. Like the cheapo ones just have like a screen on them, you know? All right. Ultrasonic cleaners really changed the game. Back in the day, this was a headache, you know? They didn't really have cheap, affordable, you know, ultrasonic cleaners until about maybe like eight years ago, maybe. Man, but huge. These things are great. And while the tank is ultrasonic cleaning, look at that servo. Right, I'm going to take that apart and see if I can figure it out. All right, so it looks like it's a mainly metal gear, so I'm assuming this is a pretty high quality thing here but I need to figure out what the are the teeth just worn out what's the, what's the story here all right so take a look at that you can see it closer the teeth up here are a lot more worn than the teeth down here yeah so there's no fixing that I mean there's it's gonna have play no matter what so, um, can't do anything much about that. So, I'm about to get a different servo. Take the other servo to the other car here. 
All right, so I got the uh, server replaced with the one from the Afna and kind of like lubed up all the different little areas, the pivot areas, movement areas. And uh, I used uh, Triflo and Deoxit uh, oil here. Uh, yeah, you should, man, the, the quality is a whole different level with the Mugen versus the Avna. Just the level of rigidity and just the design of the parts is, is a million times better. Right, I'm going to take the carb off. Uh, this was the one that was actually locked up. So even though I have it free, it's still just, I mean, it's pretty gummy in there. So I'm going to throw that in my ultrasonic cleaner too. I right, got the carb off. We'll take a look at that. A little rust pitting in there. Um, hopefully that will polish itself off as it goes, but I should take this whole thing apart and clean it. All right, so I'm gonna take this thing apart. So I'm gonna actually write down the settings what this guy had on there. How many turns for the high-speed needle, low-speed needle, and the curb idle. All right, so I'm just gonna throw the carb in with the same tank stuff. Uh, the cool thing is, is it's not like a harsh solvent. It's not gonna destroy the uh, O-rings and the rubber. Don't do that with carb dip. <laughs> Bottle's backwards, but. All right, so I'm running out of light here, but I got the carb cleaned up. Yeah, it was actually really rusty in there. So, got it all, it was all gunked up and rusted up. So, I'm glad I took it apart and cleaned it. All right, so compression feels pretty good on this thing. Good. Um, except the servo is reversed. I gotta figure out how to re reverse it in the remote. We're ready to go. Send a tank through it. It's a pretty cool remote. I mean, it's old technology, but it was pretty high end at the time. We've got this going in the right direction now. I can't imagine what the new servers are like, man. These are so much different than they were 35 years ago. <laughs> Back in the 80s. I'm gonna try to get this thing going. First fire up. See what happens. Can't stand this pull string. I mean, I have an electric starter I can put on there. This one's hard to get in there. Just... There we go. to fire up. That's awesome. Right, I'll have to figure out what's up with this thing. That was actually pretty hilarious. Um, yeah, this thing's gonna be badass. Yeah, it just seems like it has way more juice than that little 110 scale, you know? Just a whole different different ball game. All right, this is gonna be fun. All right, cool.